But not all those crimes are committed by light-fingered chancers. This off-license is about to get hit by scammers. Two blokes enter the store. They walk up to the cashier. One bloke's on the phone, and you know he's really trying his hardest to distract the uh, cashier by asking for baby wipes and that. This is a alcohol store, so obviously don't sell these sort of items that he's asking for. No, baby nothing. No. No, you ain't got no baby nothing. Well, have you got anything for that? Just some baby wipes. The other bloke is asking for fags and alcohol, which obviously they do sell. He then goes to pay with a transaction card. So he's put the card in, and instead of doing it through chip and pin, he's done it through signature. Now, with a signature, you can have any card you want, and you just type the numbers in and the three digit security code. And then it will come out to say uh, the customer needs to sign the receipt. The bank card is stolen, but they don't know the PIN. Not a problem. They simply change the terminal to accept a signature. No PIN needed. Now, luckily, on this occasion, the shopkeeper has noticed that they've changed the terminal. Don't mess around, okay? I tell you, sir, I don't want it. Hi. Okay, that's it, don't you card. The body language of the scammers is looking more and more threatening, and the shopkeeper is outnumbered. The customer seems very agitated. They've kind of like tried to intimidate him to give him his items. He, he, the retailer keeps saying, no, no. The last time I got big the atmosphere is tense, and the other customers are starting to look worried. He knows that they've changed the terminal to a signature terminal. Anyone that changes your terminal in your store has no good intent there at all.